How's it going? It's a sketch monkey here and today we're going to talk about ellipses. We're going to do this simple ellipse exercise here that you can do yourself. And I'm using Photoshop here, of course, and this is just a regular standard pressurized brush that I'm using. It's nothing fancy. And this is the only brush I'm going to be using throughout this short video here. So you can do this exercise. And then what I did here is to just start with a very narrow ellipse and then go all the way to almost a complete circle. And then what I want to do after that to create these wheels here is to localize the center point of the, the ellipse or the circle and then create a five spoke wheel out of it. You can do whatever type of design you want with the spokes here, it doesn't really matter. But the, what matters is learning how to use ellipses to create wheels because this is a question that I get pretty often is uh, you get the car right in perspective, but then when, you can, when it comes to the wheels, everything seems to get a lot harder and the wheels seems to kind of ruin a lot of sketches for a lot of people. So I wanna just show this short exercise here. And if you wanna go in and do line weight like I do right here, you can do that as well. It's just something extra. I think it looks cool specifically in white here. I, I decided to sketch in white because I usually do just uh, a black pen on a white canvas, but I decided to switch it up a little bit today and use a white brush on a almost a charcoal canvas here instead. So adding some line weight to this to give it some depth because since I th this is the only brush that I'm using, I still want to have some weight in there and not have it be too flat. And you do that, of course, by using line weight. So now that we have these ellipses here, what I'm going to do next is to sketch two different views of a car and it, they're all going to be based around the perspective of the first types of ellipses that we're going to put down on a line on a baseline. And from there, that is essentially going to determine the uh, the entire perspective and proportions of the car. So that's what I'm going to do now. That's what I'm going to leave you with. I hope this video is helpful for you. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to create short tips and trick videos like this one. I really enjoy sketching stuff like this. It's been a, it's been a while actually just to pick up the pen and uh, just go crazy. Have some fun in Photoshop and see what comes up. No pressure. Anyway, have fun with this exercise. I'm the Sketch Monkey and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.